Hello fellow beings of Middle Earth and welcome back to the Angmar campaign. This is the third episode and we are currently besieging Imladris and uh, the Northern Dundain have finally started pushing against us so it's going to be an interesting situation. Uh, now let's... Last uh, episode we actually had a plan. We are going to let this army... Um, we're just going to leave a couple of units here just to besiege this place out. In the meantime, we're going to besiege uh, Kamethbrin uh, with these guys. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we definitely want to avoid that uh, battle. He might attack us next, next turn, though. Uh, that's sketchy. Um, but let's, um, let's send the other army around. Uh, if we leave Hanvarn, let's see, they got, yeah, they got Elrond, which is just so powerful. If we leave Hanvarn, uh, some war graders, uh, these guys should be sufficient enough. Uh, so if we send this army out and head for the Northern Dundain, but I guess we could go for Kamethbrin and just bring this army all together first. All right, we are recruiting a lot of units. Um, and this Duelin is not really a threat. Um, let's see what we got up here. Yeah, we definitely just want to save some more money now and get uh, more farms going on. Um, we have uh, not really been doing the economy just as I wanted. We have been a bit random about it. And I now want to go uh, for, my, uh, for farms and mines in most settlements. As pointed out in um, as a, um, a feedback, uh, a lot of you said that I could uh, save up for the Mason's Halls, and I will do that um, eventually. But I think I'll build the mines and the farms first, just because it brings so much uh, income. All right, we are making one. Yeah, we're not making that much. We need to send these guys. Uh, all the way over here. I don't think he's going to attack. I think actually Drango himself would be enough to uh, bring this unit down. So I'm just going to ultra resolve it. Yeah. And he was crushed. So let's perhaps get another watchtower over here. That wouldn't be too bad. And they have taken, yeah, they hold the Northern Downs. Which is the Denman stack. From for now though, we're just going to target uh, Fenastrunin uh, because it's on this side, and I think that would be most important. In Morathar, we could probably start building stuff now, as um, we are going to be able to hold this place from now on. A meeting hall wouldn't be too bad to get a proper garrison in this place, but the land clearance would probably. Yeah, it will bring a bit more money at least. And we definitely want the population to go up here because eventually we'll be able to recruit the snow trolls from this uh, region. And I think that's all for this turn. Next turn we'll attack Kamethbrin. And let's see if the Northern Dundain... Oh! They do have another reinforcement army. And it's just a Bowquen unit. Jesus, we can capture Imladris this turn. That's excellent. Now let's hope this force is sufficient enough. I think it will be. Uh, the Bowquen that we can slaughter with our War Raiders. And we should be able to withhold these guys. Even though they are quite powerful. Uh, Lord Elrond have of course the greatest bodyguard in the game. The Noldoran Guard. Uh, only outclassed by a Mumakili Mumma general, in my opinion. Now I will see you on the battlefield. Alright, uh, the Bokwendi is coming from this side. I'm not going to care about them for the meantime. I really want to just target the Noritino cavalry. They are the main threat here, of course, along with the bodyguard. Uh, now just target everything you can as fast as possible. We definitely just want to hit these guys as much as we can. Uh, this Bokwendi might become a pain in the ass. Let's just send a uh, Hunwon after him uh, at the moment. 
Now these guys should start firing into the Nonatona cavalry already. Should be possible. And we're going to try to trick these Nonatona cavalry after going for our pikes. That's really what we want. Now we could potentially just go for these guys with our cavalry and just bring them down very quickly. Yeah, they are going to target our uh, Barrow Whites. However, there's not much the cavalry can do for the meantime. Yeah, you're just going to fall back over here. Uh, we're going to need to really make these guys attack us. Uh, we gotta ho just hope they do. Alright, let's get a nice charge here. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Now move out. Hun one. We need you over here. Yeah, these guys are already starting to fire. Uh, I think we're just going to try to trick them now. The bulk when they barely lost any men though. Let's hope they yeah, keep going after us so that we can get a proper charge. There we go. Excellent. We just don't want these troops to be bothering us from behind. Now, you continue. Uh, you guys are going to charge here. You're just going to stand like this. These guys are armor piercing, so they should do quite well against the Noldorin guard, which have uh, 19 armor. These are monsters. They are going to rip us apart. No doubt about it. Uh, okay, let's send these guys over here. And Hunwon, you go over there. The wargs, oh, they need help now. They're going to be charged by the Norturno. Nor That's not going to look too good. Definitely get them out. Just get them out now. Let's try to uh, trick them into going for the pikes. Let's send them in the direction of the pikes. And we are just going to... Yeah, there we go. Now they should be captured. You are going to flank over here. Use the ability as well. Now the Norturno cavalry looks like... They are, oh, these wargs are actually getting crushed. Let's not engage them in melee just yet. This Norturno is just... Oh, we have already killed Elrond. That's... What the... F oh, it was just Hurtasson, of course. I just didn't really understand how we were able to bring down Elrond so fast. Now, uh, our plan didn't really work out over here. Now it should, though. Now these uh, cavalry should go straight into our pikes. And you guys are going to start firing into the back of the sword candy. No, no, come on. This was a little bit annoying. Hunwon is doing fine for the time being. Yeah, these guys will crush them. And we should be more than sufficient enough to deal with this. We did lose too many cavalry there, to be honest. I thought they were able to handle the Norturno cavalry, but they weren't. Let's take a look at their stats. Yeah, they are basically a very elite unit. Compare them to ours, you just see the stats is so different. Even though these guys scare horses, it's just simply not enough. Actually, let's bring them even uh, closer. We are surrounding these guys though. Uh, the only thing that the Nordalian guard can't really handle is that they are easily surrounded and they will get stun locked. That's an animation in the medieval 2. Well, getting Imladris in the third episode is certainly not bad. Um, especially since I haven't played this faction before. It might have been a bit luck as well though. Uh, I don't really know. Like in the Isengard campaign and the Gondorian campaign, I know everything, like, I know most of my movements. In this campaign, it's it's kind of random because I don't really know the faction. Yeah, it looks like Elrond is already stunlocked over here. So that's why I'm not playing optimal in this campaign, even though I will perform very well, because I am an experienced Medieval 2 Total War player. Alright, now we're going to send the Pikes in as well. Just run over here. You guys can target the Noldorian guard for now. You guys bring down your pikes and you're going to go straight in for the Noldorian guard. You guys as well, hit the Noldorian guard. Uh, there we go. Only half 
We're just going to keep cycling chart. And then uh, Elon goes to a... Oh, he almost went to Hun Wan himself. That's beautiful. And we have captured Imladris. It's ours. Now we were really lucky there that they actually come in with C Captain Hurtasion. 207 lost. Barrow Whites claiming the victory. They almost lost nobody actually. That was an excellent battle, even though we could have taken a lot fewer losses with our wargs. Um, I really just did. Um, I thought the wargs would perform better against the, like the Elven Cavalry. I don't know what I thought about. And we were. I thought I had made them uh, caught by the pikemen, but I didn't. So just make them chase you and then run right straight into the pikes like I did. Himladris. Now we only need uh, Fornost, Deadman's Dyke, and we will indeed let's exterminate uh, so that we have, or that they won't really be that mad. Imladris is ours, and when we have taken Kamathbrin, it's all over. Uh, we can now see Saikala and such. Yeah, these guys, we're going to beat them to Kamathbrin. Oh, Jesus, this is so nice. Lore Master of Imladris is dead. Imladris sacked. Imladris has been taken. No song shall be sung in the morning to come. I'm not going to read it all though. Kyr Andros under attack. We're already here. Yeah, we're making solid money here as well. Let's just bring down this a little bit. Let's get the shrine up and going. Let's see what we got here. These mines is nice. Dundine encampment. It gives them some free upkeep. Uh, so why not? And uh, like the goblins hold a lot of these places and they keep pushing out units over here. Captain Duelin is still standing over there. Yeah, let's just go back. We're going to go to the fort. Now the blue, uh, the dwarves of Eredluin still haven't taken these settlements. We have Barrow Whites here as well. The Snowwalk Spears is a very good mercenary unit, uh, which we might consider getting at some point. Uh, these Wargs we are definitely going to send in the south. We're building stuff here. In Litash, we could go for the Shrine now. Let's save up for the crop rotation uh, or the mines. Let's stick to our plan now. Let's not be so indecisive. Um, all right. Now we could just let's see if we bring out Hunwan. one. Yeah, they're still going to be happy. So this army is just going to head straight out, and we're going to head out for Fenastruinin, the capital of the Dunedain. We're going to ruin them. Oh, I'm so happy now. That was so cheap as well. We need Drangu to lead another army again. Uh, we could potentially build another army. We have, or just let let just the economy go on for now. Uh, things are looking very promising. Yeah. Okay. Let's end the turn again. Uh, we. Could perhaps get, just have a little bit more units here. Let's just get them. The Goblins of Moria is just working very well as an ally, as an ally in this patch. When Kameth Brin falls, uh, Imladis no longer has any settlements. That's really that's one enemy gone. And then we can focus all on the Northern Dune line and the Dwarves of Erdluin. I don't think Imladis would have been that aggressive anyways, but it just gives us a lot more income per turn. Can we bring out these guys? Yeah, we can actually. Uh, I'm not going to care for them at the meantime. Oh, these guys are also pushing. Let's beat them to this uh, settlement as well. There we got a lot uh, of 
settlement spill. We could potentially just siege them out. No, we definitely want to get as much money as fast as possible. These works will just go down here. And Drango. You head out with uh, the D works. Now let's go for the irrigation perhaps. That is just really powerful. It gives a lot of money. Let's just see how much more it gives. It will give it. Yeah. And it will give um, more population. Oh, this, uh, these settlements can't actually upgrade, of course. Um, then it's not really worth it. Then I would rather consider doing it over here. Not that this place can upgrade that fast either. This one could though. Let's go for the crop rotation over here. Let's just save uh, some money as well. Uh, I'm definitely... I just wonder if these guys are going to be enough, to be honest, against these two units. Like, oh, we actually forgot to build a ram. Let's get it. Yeah, because we sacked this place. Let's just bring these works up here. We really just gotta be prepared when the Dwarves of Eredluin come. We can recruit units here though, but... And we have... Yeah, we have the largest meeting hall we can. Let's perhaps get some more population growth. I really want to go for the Shrine of Melkor here. Nothing we can do in this turn now. Let's just finish it. Oh, yes, indeed. I didn't really understand how we could assist them in that kind of situation though. No, we're really far behind. We are actually at war with the, the Grey Havens of Linden. Yeah, what will the goblins of Moria do now? I wonder. They will probably head out for uh, the Northern Dundine. Arafar, uh, I think we should just head straight for Fenasturnin. Oh, they have a pretty large garrison there though, it looks like at least. Yeah, they do, definitely. Uh, we might actually want to take out Arafar first. Yeah, we definitely do. Let's bring him down first. This uh, army was actually quite great. I thought they had much less units. Let's merge these two and bring them down as reinforcements. They will be needed. Can't build anything here just yet. Morathar, we can build the Shrine of Melkor. It's not really needed. But we do want the population to go up. Because we do want um, this place to be upgraded quickly so that we can get um, snow trolls. So let's just go for it. Let's just get, go for a Mason's Hall here. We are going to be um, building a lot of shit in these places and it will actually be worth it. Alright, that's another end turn. I think we do want a couple of more units uh, down in the south to be honest. Let's just send some trash down. Yes, there are a lot of Dundine armies over here. These guys are just trying to bribe. But bribing doesn't really work in this 
in this uh, version um, it's been disabled I think it was in 2.2 also anyways let's hope that the goblins could help us down in the south definitely the Dundar are stronger than yeah they, they do produce a lot of units down in the south Halion is without a general. Out of four has a. Yeah, he's pretty great army. Keep down his side alone. This guy can't move. If we attack Halion, let's attack him. Let's see if we can just attempt. Oh, the goblins can actually reinforce. Yeah, that's just trash. We do outnumber them severely though, uh, even though they have much stronger units than us, I think we should be capable of dealing some damage to them. And we definitely do need to take out these armies before we move on to Finasturinin, so I will fight this battle. I think we're going to take a lot of losses, but uh, we should still be able to do some heavy damage. Alright, so we need to take out these guys and out of four, yeah, he's a normal bodyguard. Alright, I will see you on the battlefield. Alright, we're here. Let's just take a quick look. We are positioned down here. The enemy is here. And the reinforcements are coming up from here. And the goblins are coming up from here. So we're just going to send our warlocks straight in. Let's crush them. Let's see, the Carlin Riders is the ones that needs to go down. We're going to let these guys be very attack uh, aggressive. I don't care if they lose lives, to be honest. Alright, the war riders, let's just head over here. Let's see how this works perform against the Northern Dunedain. That's quite interesting to be honest. Haven't really seen them. Alright, that sounds going to be a nice charge. You really want to face units straight ahead, like from this angle right here. That's much better. Uh, these guys are going to attack this guy. And now we don't really want these guys to be completely trashed. Uh, archers are the one are the units that will crush. Um, our works. I think these guys actually will be used much better in melee. And let's try to give them some Javis though. It should work. They are actually getting a couple of kills. Oh, look at this charge! It looks like these guys are definitely capable of dealing damage to the Northern Dunedain. Oh, these guys definitely need to go out immunity. Let's give them some Javis now. And there he goes. Now we should try to wrap them. Uh, let's try to completely surround them. Uh, you guys will target these guys. You guys just move out of there. You're getting targeted by the wooden hunters. You guys could perhaps go for wooden hunters. That looks like a very nice charge. Let's try to surround these guys. That's excellent. The other army is just way far off and the goblins are finally heading our way it looks like one of their units is yeah the wooden hunters are going for the goblins which is just perfect we're just going to let them kill themselves against the goblins these wargs aren't holding up very well though they are they are losing lots of numbers however we are taking down these um, units quite easily But at what cost? I think we should bring Drango back. He will be m more useful uh, in these battles because of his works. Let's just keep cycle charging these guys. It looks like these guys have very uh, good morale though. They're not really routing. And it's works they're up against. Oh, that's a nice charge. When you see uh, units uh, getting charged and they fly up in there like magic carps using splash. 
Did he know it's a nice charge? That's a way to really predict it. There you go, that's the magic carps I want to see. That's the sign. We have already brought down 33% of the army. However, the army incoming now is much stronger. But we like our army does not consist of purely cavalry. Like these goblins will deal with these woolen hunters. Goblin band in action with a couple of snug skirmishers. Jesus. Ah, uh, these guys are now routing. Excellent. That's some nice kills. Oh, these guys are actually getting targeted. Uh, let's send these guys over here. Oh, let's actually just let the goblins deal with them. All of you guys just head straight for the Dundan Ranger, Rangers. And there. Some nice food for our works. Now, we definitely want to start harassing these units. Alright, let's use... To actually recognize which ones uh, the war skirmishes and which ones the archers, you can just see like this white kind of sword or javelin uh, is the uh, war skirmishers. So these guys are archers. They hold up pretty well in melee, I must confess. Uh, let's use this guy a bit in melee. Actually, I don't think these guys are going to be able to really do as what I say. Uh, let's bring these guys out as well. And let's just bring these guys over here. Oh, Jesus, yeah. That's, let's just try to make them go into our pikes as usual. Looks like it's going to be successful. Or not. And there the goblin goes. It doesn't really matter. Now, yeah, they are already engaged in melee. Now, the wargs should definitely give these guys a welcome, though. Alright, let's use these guys properly. Dundan scouts will just have to try to bring down with uh, arrows. These guys are going to be shredded by the Dundan scouts, to be honest. Uh, we could definitely send these guys in, though. You guys going to flank. Uh, that unit was kind of slaughtered already. I think we should just... They only got archers actually. We just need to charge them straight ahead. Let's just run out all of our troops. Go to take uh, all our pikes out of guard mode. I mean uh, pike formation. Let's do that. And you guys go out of this. Just run. Run. And... Run, Hunwon, follow after. They have the Carlin Riders though, which you definitely need to take a watch out for. Okay, let's just. We're going to capture some units over there. And here we go, they actually kind of got captured there. Let's bring out all our works now. We're going to take heavy losses just from this single battle, but let's just run all of our units in now. Where's Fun 1? Let's bring down these archers, they're dangerous. There we go, nice charge. Let's try to attack from multiple angles, perhaps bring down these guys a bit quicker. There we go. Now it gets a bit chaotic when you're just fighting against cavalry and archers. And that's why the Dundine, uh, the Northern Dundine is such a strong faction. Because they have, like, their unit basically just consists of these kind of units. Now, we definitely want to take out the general, and for that, we definitely need uh, Hunwon. 
We have lost almost all of our cavalry now, at this point. Yeah, these guys have at least... Uh, we should flank though, we turn one flank. That's much better. Nice charge. More magic arts. You guys, yeah. Hun one is going to flank the Dundan bodyguards. Which these guys we shouldn't really send in against the bodyguards, they are just such a strong unit. Wow, this Dundan one unit though is pretty looks pretty strong. These Rudar Sauges are dealing with some Kaolin Riders. I guess these guys could go for the Wardens. And the Pikes as well. These two units are going to face off the Pikes. Hun one go straight for the Bodyguards. I think, yeah, you do not have a lot of armor. So you won't really um, be that affected. Uh, yeah, you gotta take out these guys. Uh, we should definitely use our force a bit more efficiently here. They're just very much blobbed up. So we, we want to spread them out and just surround this unit and stun lock them. Alright, you guys start firing. Now and now you're going to run up here. These guys we could definitely use as well. Send them up here. We're going to surround this Dune Down Warden's unit. These guys just take out the rangers. Oh yeah, it was just asking. I was a bit afraid of losing lose Hun one. This is a bit risky to be honest. Let's bring these guys through. Let's just bring him down. Yeah, Dune Down's bodyguards are going down now though. They're going to get stunlocked pretty soon. You guys gotta retreat. You gotta just complete surround these guys. Good hit to do that once. You hit these guys in the flank. Actually, you can hit them from behind. That's just the way you want to deal with units which is much better than you. You just gotta surround them. It's time to press the attack. Oh, yeah, he's still alive. Uh, these guys are now surrounding. And we gotta surround them with as many units as possible because these guys are beasts against our units. Our Deruda Savages are at least armor piercing. And let's look at their armor. Yeah, they don't really have that much armor. It's not a nice matchup at all. It's more like they are a solid unit, and when you surround the unit, it doesn't really look. It doesn't really matter how good your unit is. Oh yeah, this war unit is going ham. Just to make them out, to be honest. Let's just send in every uh, unit which doesn't really do much. Let's just send them all in uh, over here. Just try to make them out. These guys will not. And there the general finally falls. We have lost a lot of our units so, But it might be a lot of just um, the other f uh, of um, the orcs of um, the goblins of Moria. There we go, let's just capture them all. We lost, yeah, 500. That's not bad for killing 1,100 men. And a lot of our raiders got healed off as well. So it looks like it's a quite nice strategy to just uh, use them to their full potential because uh, they're a lot a lot of times you're going to get a lot of heals uh, from cavalry units just because uh, maybe only the horse died, you know. So they often get a heal off. So I think we should just push out all the war units that we can. We might want to make uh, a couple of more of uh, work breeders. Ooh. Let's execute them all. Nice to have these guys out of the way. 
and Drango will come in as reinforcements. He's Aelon. And now, just go straight for Fenastrunin. And we will be able to take out these guys, I'm certain. Let's see what we got now. Let's try to perhaps, um, yeah, these guys can merge. But we kind of want them separated. They do a lot better then. When they have very many in their units, they don't really perform as well as you might want them to sometimes. Just because they don't get a nice charge and a lot of units are kind of wasted. Uh, let's definitely get the Temple of Melkor here. Just for the culture. Yeah, and that's going to be the money for this turn. Let's just see. I am kind of... I don't really know if we're going to be able to take them out with this force. They're just such strong units. These guys alone could probably take out two of these units. And we won't really be able to surround them in this settlement either. We have Overlord Agendauer, which will be able to deal with one of these units though. Uh, like, it should be possible. However, it it's kind of useful to have... No, I think I'm going to do it. Um, Actually, there's. I don't think these guys are strong enough to be honest. Like, we have already underestimated the elves. I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm just going to siege them out. I think it's the safer way to approach. Uh, Drangu, you should probably head down here. However, I don't really want you caught off by any troops. Uh, I want to go like wide, like over here. Okay, you guys are going down here, of course, and you are going to follow after Drango. That's really all for this turn. We have gotten a new general, general here, Afanas here. He's probably a part of the family, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's show family tree. Oh yes, he is the son of Agendau himself. That's kind of cool. I really want to send him into the war, actually. Um, because you have the general, the, the witch knights, I believe they are called. The witch knights, yes. Let's at least send him down to this fort. Get some more um, generals down. That's not too bad. And I think that's it for this turn. But to bring down Imladris, this uh, episode will certainly be good. Ah, they're going to attack us. We might take Fenastrun in this turn. Keep down here, Zylon. They have quite a nice force. We lost a lot of wargs last uh, time as well. But yeah, we should be more than sufficient to bring down these guys. But these guys have the Dunedain Steel Bowmen. They are an excellent unit. Uh, Definitely, and there are their arrows are army piercing, so very good in this patch. Now we barely outnumber them, but I think we should be able to surround their surrender, surround uh, one army after another. All right, I will see you on the backfield, and that's going to be the end of the episode. Okay, they are coming in from behind. We're just going to run straight for them and just attack this force before the other ones can um, aid. We need to bring down their archers. Um, oh, these guys are actually going to get nice sh hot, uh, shots on us. I think we should wait a little bit. Yeah, I don't think it's really worth having these guys over here. Let's just bring them out for the meantime. And let's just bring them all close up to the enemy. Let's just run them. It's going to tire the units and these guys need to go out of guard mode and run. And you guys, now you need to flank. The other force are already on their way. We need to take out these guys quickly or this could become a disaster. Our troops is not strong, they're just trash. However, we got a nice general. And we are able to stunlock these guys. That's how we're going to win the battle, to be honest. 
and they are luckily targeting a lot of our trash units. Alright, you guys might just want to attack for now. Uh, retreat, I mean. You guys are going to surround. You guys just run straight for it. Parawites, you want to wait a little bit. Should be able to bring these guys this way. Uh, let's see, yeah, these guys are just. They are just uh, having some fun. Let's try to bring them around though and get a more proper charge. Alright, uh, these guys. Yeah, going for the Dundan Wardens. Uh, Hunwan. Going to hit the Carlin Sentinels from the side. Oh, these guys are going to get so obliterated. Yeah. Actually, these guys didn't get the proper charge. Now we're going to bring the other general. And these guys were already broken. That's excellent. Uh, you should start firing over here. You need to start preparing for this other army. Uh, you as well. You as well. And yeah. The Carlin Riders will route in not too long. I think we do want to help out Hanwon though. Uh, let's bring one of these units and bring a very hard charge into these guys. And there the enemy general goes. Now we should use our works very efficiently and just rout this entire army very quickly. Now you guys as well. And you guys. There we go. Wargs are feasting on Dunedain blood. The purest of the purest blood. It must taste very well for these works, I have no doubt. Okay, you guys are going to start. Um, you're going to start to line up. Okay, let's line them up properly. We need to capture as many units as possible. Don't want anyone to return to the battlefield. Uh, these guys and Hunwon go over here now, quickly. And you wargs, you have a new target, the Carlin Riders. Let's just bring them down to the number of 30. And let's start. Oh, the Dunedain Steel Bowmen. Uh, I think we should just, yeah, we could probably let them come at us though. Let's see if we can get a couple of nice Javis into the Steel Bowmen. Let's see how much they should be able to tear this unit apart. Uh, not really. Let's uh, look at their stats. They have 12 armor. We definitely want Hunwon to go up against them. Uh, the Carlin Riders are over here. Let's send these two units over here. I guess we could send these guys as well. And it looks like they're just going to start skirmishing us again. And we really don't want that. So let's just charge them all in like we just did. Dunedain Steel Bowmen are an excellent unit, both in melee and as an archer. Okay, you guys start uh, hitting them. That's what we hired you for. Javis is always going to be quite excellent against uh, uh, cavalry. Let's see how we're doing over here. Conscripts and Hillman. Lumbermen are just as trash as ours. So that's not really uh, much of a problem. These guys are getting very much targeted though. Alright, I'm just going to send all my wards in against their cavalry. We should be able to completely surround them. These guys need to go over here now immediately. Boon 1, you're going to flank around here. You need to stop the Dune Dance Steel Bowman. And you're going to go after Halberad as well. He's a part of the Grey Company, if you guys weren't uh, familiar with the lore. And we are going to use our ability right now. And Halberad should be surrounded now. These guys were supposed to go in. 
Now the Carlin Riders might be able to handle the situation quite well. The Angmarim Archers definitely could use them over here. Pikes, let's bring them over to the Dundan Steel Bowman. Uh, you as well, let's just go straight through. Want to surround these guys? Looks like Kun 1 is about to get surrounded. That's not good at all. Need to send these guys in now, very quickly. Run through, straight through. Oh jeez, these guys are definitely losing. That was... I thought they were able to handle this unit. Hunwan is in trouble. But, oh yeah, it's savages. Okay, we're fine. We're definitely fine. Use your Javis for all it's worth, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. These archers just target Carbon Riders. Do not steal Bowman, haven't lost a single man so far. However, if we flank with the Rudar Savages, that would be an excellent idea. These guys have a... Oh, they got they're themselves surrounded. That's very stupid. This battle is going to be a clutch. We should definitely try to send uh, Hun Won over here. I'm just a little bit uh, worried about his... He has so few units left, and therefore it might be a bit risky. Oh, these guys are going to get in a nice charge, it looks like. You guys take out your swords and charge them. Conscripts help over here. Yeah, they're going to magic carp us. That's not good. Dune and Steel Bowmen are finally surrounded though. That should start to bring them down. Conscripts are charging in and helping out the archers, even though they're charging and not even hitting the cavalry unit. That's how stupid they are. This Lumberman has performed pretty well. I'm Rim Archers. You conscripts stand before them with the sk skill tron formation that should be able to handle with these guys. Using the skill transformation is actually very effective against the uh, cavalry. These archangels, these archers are just so trashy, aren't they? Oh, they're charging into our pikes. They're going to get a lot of kills initially, but then... Come on, charge these guys. Get these buggers. Dune Dynasty women are going down, but these guys are about to rout. Wow, these guys even routed, kind of. You need to hit them now. Angmarim Archers, you need to go over here and just be supportive so that these guys don't rout. Need to bring down these wardens immediately. You stay, go for these guys as well. Just make them rout. If they're going to help over here, they won't really be able to. Just surround them now, please. Oh, these steel bowmen, though, are doing very well. Where is Halbarad? He should be in the front line. Oh, he's blooded up. But he's not dead. Alright, these conscripts need to help over here. Pikemen, you need to go over here. Angmarim Archers. Uh, you go over here and just hit these guys in the back. These Lumbermen have been performing very well. Uh, you need to go like 
from right behind you guys. Yeah, you're just going to go straight in where you are. Actually, we should send them around like here. Jesus. Come on, just take care of this cavalry once and for all. These cavalry has done pretty well. I think it was a huge mistake sending the works against them. Once again, I thought the works were able to do it, just like with um, the elves, but it just doesn't look like they are able to. So we just gotta be used to that. And there, the cavalry is finally gone. Uh, there's only one left there. Let's just hit these guys with all our units. This has been a costly battle. Still not certain we're going to win. These guys are now kind of okay. Hit the uh, hit the lumberman now. They should be very sufficient to arrow. Then one should be kind of defended. Ah, that's a nice charge. Now I just have them in guard mode. This could very well end very interestingly. Alright, these guys um, help over here. We just need to bring down the general and the battle is won. The one will not do much over there though. Um, these guys are just so crappy to be honest. How much? Missile attack 3. And look at the shots. Okay, it's actually not that bad now. These guys will go down though. We just need to let them charge as much as they can. We need to use the the whites on this side. We are getting some nice hits into these guys. They were susceptible to arrows even though they just have missile uh, 3 as attack. Need to we need to take out these guys. A charge from the whites can be devastating. To be honest, this is the best bodyguard the Dundan has. I don't think Aragon's bodyguard is that good. Okay, these guys. Still getting some nice hits now. Excellent. You just see how strong the Dundan bodyguard, the Dundan Steel Bowman are. They have performed so well. You need to be more aggressive now. You need to bring them down. Where's Halbarad? He's here, blooded up. This is going to be close, guys. These guys are now charging. How good are these guys in melee? Shitty. Our, these guys are quite uh, tired now. Okay, let's... This will be interesting. Speed up the battle. Our army is tiring. Oh, these guys are completely surrounded. Though. It's all uh, these guys. Let's send out these guys over here now. Let's bring down. Yeah, Halbrad is going to go down. It's just a matter of time. This was a really close battle, though. Very interesting. And there he goes. Halbrad falls to the ground and Fenas Runin is ours, but at what cost? We did not lose Hunwon though, the only um, unit of real value. Let's just charge down this last lumberman. It's been such a great battle. I really just want to see him dead now. Ah, there he goes. Wow, 1105 lost and 1200 killed. We got a lot of heals though. Angmarim Archu, no the conscripts, 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 Hillmen, Ruda Savages. Yeah, we did not get a lot of wargs um, healed. However, Drangu is on his way. But I think we definitely need more backup down here. Um, but of course, we are sending those uh, Hillmen and conscripts. And that's all we need, uh, even though it would be useful to have. A bit of a stronger main line. But I think that was an interesting battle, definitely. Let's execute them all.
Let's sack this place. Victory! I'm almost, yeah, let's just sack it. Oh, but they have reinforcements right there. Our triangle is on its way. I think we'll be okay. I definitely don't want to lose Hunwan. But uh, most uh, Dundan armies should be more than sufficient enough to deal with the force we have uh, left. The Dun landings. They are akin to ours. Yeah, sure. We cannot... Well, that seemed fruitful. Farewell. Now we could definitely use some help from the goblins. Let's hope they send uh, units against the Dundai, as they have so many times. The ring is in the Shire. Wow. In Hobbiton. Even though that would be interesting, it's not really the objective of this camp. Oh, they only have one unit here, and two units here. I think we might be safe. Just look at this battered army though. Where is uh, Drango? He will be there in one turn. And these units as well. We'll take Hammer Brain in two turns as well. This episode is over now though. Let's just build the Shrine of Melkor. They got a lot of buildings built here. Ranger skill, let's bring it down and get some money. Bunuan is a true hero, definitely. And we're making solid money now, real solid. Knock water glow, recruit all you can. And let's get the communal farming. Actually, we want a war camp. Uh, we want some unit, more units now. It's quite expensive. Can we recruit more wargs? Not yet. Orders. I found us here. Just going to head south as well. We Let's uh, recruit some more savages and some pikemen. The pikemen, you just see, they have survived all the way and they still are very healthy. It's just how overpowered these pikemen are in this game. 100, even though it was two, two and a half units. Yeah, this is going to be a nice, uh, nice ride. Let's send down these guys. We don't really need them up here in Camelfbrin. And that is going to be the end of this episode. Uh, we took out two capitals this uh, episode and we're going to be take, taking Camphrin next turn. And then we should just steamroll into the lands of the Northern Dundine. You see, um, Orcs of the Mismats are still able to help us over here. That's very useful. Theodorduin, next target. And of course, Deadman's Dyke and uh, Anuminas. <laughs> we might even snatch the ring if we're... Uh, fast enough, that would be quite awesome to be honest. And the dwarves of Eredlun still haven't claimed this area. Yeah, I think that's going to be the end of this. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. Please leave a like, uh, subscribe if you're interested in more content. We're soon going to be releasing a Gundabad campaign as well, and I also have an Isengard campaign going on right now. So, make sure to check that out. And I'll see you guys for the next episode.